Hi everyone, it's Claire back again. So I'm going to continue with my pastel comparison de stash videos. Um, and these are my pale pinks, baby pinks. And because I don't have many pinks left, I've thrown some brights in here as well, just, uh, just to see whether or not I want to keep any, whether or not any managed to skip through the first de stash. So here are, how many we got here? Three, six, seven. Seven pale pinks. Um, now, there was a time in my life, in my nail polish addiction, that I was desperate to find a perfect baby pink. Um, not that pink is my colour, and actually the reason that I haven't got many pinks left, I have got some darker pinks that I'll look at in another another video, but the reason I don't have a great deal of pinks left is because I actually sent the majority of them that I knew I would never wear to be rehomed with uh, the pink queen Nika, Nika's Naughty Nails. So they've gone to a better place, let's just put it that way, where they will be loved and appreciated. But I just want to double check what I've got here and whether or not I need to do be a bit more extreme with these, especially with these baby pinks. So the first one that I've got here is, this is Essie Muchi Muchi. And this is actually a very sheer pink. And it's kind of what I was looking for at one point. I thought I needed a sheer baby pink. I've never worn it. <laughs> never ever worn it. I've only really swatched it and I've probably swatched it a few times because it's kind of down to about here. Um, but yeah, I have no need for a sheer baby pink when I've got better pinks that are exactly the same type of shade, but better formulas. So this one is an immediate de-stash. So that's Muchi Muchi, that's going. This one here is beautiful. This is a very unusual pale pink with this gorgeous green blue gold flash in there. I'm wondering if you can guess what this one is. It's one of the recent purchases in the Out of Space Stories collection and this is called Out of Space is the Place and just look at that flash. It's gorgeous. So that one is staying, that's going nowhere uh, and I think I'm going to wear this very soon. The next one is um, very similar to Muchi Muchi in shade and also this next one here. So let's look at, in fact, let's look at these three together. So here we have them. This one is the Essence Colour and Care and it's a very, very pale pink, but it seems to have a touch of lavender in there as well. Um, this one I'm going to keep because as you know I don't want to break up that collection and this has got a great formula compared to Moochie Moochie it's just wins hand, hands down um, and then these next two here not the best formulas um, this one is the breakfast in bed which no it's lose your lingerie which has got this shimmer and it's barely barely noticeable on the nail I think I've had enough of this. I've worn it down to about here, so I'm going to de-stash that one. And this one is Rose Hip by Barry M. Another, I mean, I was really was on a quest to find what I thought was the greatest baby pink. And uh, so consequently, I picked up quite a few of them. Uh, it's not the best, and it's certainly not as good as the Essence. So I'm going to de-stash this one. And finally, these two here, a little bit darker in shade, tiny, tiny little bit darker. This one here is new to me. This is the Trust Fund Beauty, Do You Know Who My Father Is? And this was from the last Me Box. And I'm going to keep hold of this one because it is quite a nice formula and it's new and I feel like I need to give it a chance. Plus, it's it's now the only Trust Fund Beauty that I've got, considering I dropped the other one and ruined it. So this is the only one that I've got and I want to keep this. And finally, 
this is a bit of a surprise for me it's not as shimmery as the outer space but it's got a very subtle shimmer and it's also got a little hint of lavender so this is a gold shimmer and it's china glaze wanderlust and i don't hear many people talk about this really for a, a shimmery baby pink but i like it so i'm going to keep it so that's three d stashed and four that i'm keeping so i'm glad i've slashed that down a little bit because i just didn't feel that i needed this amount of baby pinks when pink isn't a shade that i really wear very often and i don't know why i had such an impulse to get the perfect baby pink i would say that the essence is probably my perfect baby pink um but yeah so i've included these ones as well these are more bright pinks so rather than doing a separate category um i thought i would include these even though they're not pastel or baby pinks um they're more bright pinks this is beautiful and this is sally hansen extreme wear not the original but this is bubblegum pink and this has got a great formula and i do like this shade so this one's staying um i'm i'm not sure about this one this is essie's i was going to say go ginza i don't know why i've got go ginza in my head at the moment this is deli dance which was from the resort collection last year um I don't know when I'm editing I'll let you know whether I'm keeping this one or not but it's it's kind of a maybe because it feels different to the other ones that I've got this one here is look at my bow which is from the Hello Kitty collection OPI and I like the fact that this has got again a little bit of a dash of purple in there so this one I am going to keep so you can see actually I do tend to prefer the darker pinks to the pale baby pinks which is strange because I'm more of a neutral type person <sighs> who knows <laughs> I'm going to keep this one oh, I can't do I'm going to destash this one so that's deli dance and because it's a mini um, this one here is a limited edition Barry M that I picked up from Superdrug in Anglesey actually when I was doing some work there last year I think it's called Festival Fever um, and somebody in the comments in one of my videos said that they put a piece of sellotape over to keep the the name from rubbing off which is a great idea so any Barry M's that I pick sometimes they put the name on the bottom but when they put them on the side here in future I'm going to put some clear tape over just to try and save that name this is gorgeous and it has like a, a slight, uh, it's kind of a satin matte finish and you really can see that gold, I'm trying to get some focus, there we go, you can see that gold in there, beautiful, I love this shade. And finally the very unusual, this, this actually when I was looking at it, I've already filmed my lavenders and lilacs that I think is going to be before this after this video um, and I should really have put this into that category this is a, a perfect lilac pink um, and it's the very first kind of lilac-y pinky shade that I picked up actually and this is Illamasqua Harem you can see how much I've used of this and because it's a bright lilac pink it gets a pass with me against my skin tone if it was a bit grayer we'd be in trouble but this is a beautiful beautiful polish and i haven't worn it for a long time and i need to really pull this out of my collection i keep being drawn to this one gorgeous so i'm actually going to keep all of them apart from deli dance so out of 12 I've managed to de-stash four which kind of hits my target of a quarter of each of these videos um, but yeah that's my pastels and baby pinks and slightly brighter pinks um, yeah let me know if pinks are your kind of thing 
and if you're in the UK and you're interested in any of these polishes then give me a shout let me know and I'll see you all in the next video bye oh by the way before I go on my nails is a little bit of nail art so it's been a long bank holiday weekend here and um, I thought I'd do some nail art and I tried to do some of these chevrons some of them worked some of them yeah not so much but then I discovered that if I covered up my mistakes with these lovely spring flowers it kind of works so yeah now that I've shown you this I can remove it because I've been wearing this for a couple of days and uh, yeah I think I might put one of these lovely pinks on thanks for watching everyone bye